Concrete Boys definitely have the best visual style out now when it comes to music videos, photography, and everything in general. Their aesthetic is so clean and they apply it to all of their music videos and it perfectly matches their music as well. And if you guys don't know who the Concrete Boys are, they are Lil Yachty's rap group. It contains Draft Day, DC2 Trill, Camo, and Caribou. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody, but Anyways, we can hop into Premiere Pro here. I have four of their most recent music videos and we're going to be breaking down what makes their style so unique and how you guys can take this and look at this in the way of like, wow, how can I create my own style for my music videos? We're going to be breaking down the color, the composition, the wardrobe, and the choices of lenses and shot styles. And then we're going to go into a couple ways that you guys can find inspiration, some websites I use where you guys can find shots that are very similar to this. So I highly recommend you guys watch this video all the way to the end because I guarantee you guys will understand how creating your own style works in the music video space and you could take what they did to create their own style and apply it to yours now before we hop any further into this i gotta shout out amd visuals he is the guy the editor the filmer that guy himself he's filming all these videos himself he has a little bit of direction help from milaho andik and lil yadi himself who actually goes under the name lil miles uh, i think i can show you at the end of this video here yeah, so this is actually Lil Yachty here, Little Miles. Uh, but yeah, shout out AMD Visuals. He's been going crazy. I met him backstage at the Yachty show in Toronto. He's the GOAT. Anyways, though, let's hop right into this. First, starting off with color. Now, if we go through and look at these videos, they all have a very, very similar color palette. It's like an orange and teal sort of color palette, but it leans a lot more into like blues in a way than teal these two videos are very similar but if we hop into this draft day video here it's a little bit of a different color correction it leans more towards it's a little bit more washed out which i like a lot i think it matches the uh set on this one and then that one's very similar to this one as well so i'm gonna be showing you guys super quick how you can color your videos to look like this and get that film effect they don't shoot their videos on film i believe amd shoots it on in between an fx3 and an fx6 uh, which are both sony cameras so if you have the sony a7s3 you can get something very similar because it's the same picture profile which is s log 3 which is a flat picture profile so if you don't have a sony camera make sure you're shooting on a flat picture profile on your camera super quick before we get any more into this video i have to let you guys know about my internet packs presets over my website there are a ton of editing packs created by me for creators just like you we have so many different effects and transitions over there that you guys can use on your projects to level them up instantly we have everything ranging from fast and wood effects that allows you to add drag and drop shakes hits and wipes to your videos super easily a LUT pack that contains over 285 different LUTs drag and drop 3d effects that work on every single editing program that require no render time whatsoever and so many other different unique looks editing packs and styles that you guys can use to level up your visuals if you guys are stuck in an edit or you're just looking to take your videos to that next step for 2024 i highly recommend going over and checking out the site because there's something there for you but anyways let's hop right back into this all right so starting off on this clip right here we're going to be taking this clip from the music video i've converted it into flat footage and now we're going to be coloring it to get the similar look so what i like to do to color my videos is i go into project i'll right click and i'll create a new item and we'll create an adjustment layer right here and then hit okay and then what i'll do is i'll drag and drop the adjustment layer on top of our clip i'll click on the adjustment layer and then go into millimetric color go under creative here and then under look we're going to hit none and then hit browse now i highly recommend you guys color your videos using LUTs just as a base to begin everything with and then go in and tweak it after if you guys don't have LUTs there are a bunch of free LUT packs on the internet there's so many you could find on YouTube for certain styles, but I highly recommend checking out my LUT pack. It's the Tiny Tapes Ultimate LUT pack. It'll be linked below. It has one through 282 different LUTs and then seven additional film LUTs. You guys will never run out of LUTs if you use this pack. And I color every single one of my music videos using this LUT pack as well. So we're going to go with LUT 136 here and you guys can see automatically we already have a nice base look so going back to this frame here we can color correct it a little bit more as you guys can see it doesn't look amazing it's just a base look as you guys can see brightens up the colors a bit but what we can actually do is go in and turn the contrast up and you guys can see immediately that completely changes the image there and then we can add a little bit of a green tint to it bring the shadows down whites down and bring the highlights down and we can add a little bit of orange to it as well if you guys want and then they have a film look on every single one of their videos so if you guys don't have film grid i recommend checking out my tiny tapes film look pack that'll be linked below as well but i love to use dehancer as well so we're going to drag and drop on the grain from my film look pack i really love using this one i think it's a lot better than the ones built in to do dehancer but it's totally up to you guys we're going to resize that and set that to overlay you guys can immediately tell that grains making it look super nice and then what we're going to do as well is we're going to highlight both of these clips here then we're going to go ahead and nest them and then we're going to click on it go into effects and we're going to apply 
Dehancer, which is my favorite film emulation plugin. Let's drag and drop that on top of our clip. You guys can see immediately we have a different look there. Now, inside of Dehancer, what you can actually do is you can input the exact camera that you were using. So we go into choose camera. It can pick an Ari, a Canon, an iPhone, a Sony, and it comes with all the ISOs and picture profiles as well. So I don't have the exact flat footage that I shot this on, but if you guys have that, I highly recommend inputting your camera settings into here and you could pick the exact film you want. There's so many different film stocks in here to get different looks. So if I go ahead and play through it, these different ones here. You guys could see there's so many creative different looks that even looks super fire there. It's a little washed out, but I usually don't use this unless I know the exact settings I'm shooting on for my camera. Whereas this is the video just downloaded from YouTube. So we're going to go ahead and disable that. And there are a few more things that are enabled inside of here that we have to turn off. So we're going to go into print and turn that off, expand, turn that off. We're gonna turn the film grain off in here, but if you guys do wanna play around with it, it is pretty fire. If I turn off the one that I have, you guys can see it applies a slight film grain and you can also mess with the amount here. You can add some more in the shadows, add some more in the midtones, the highlights, that's fully customizable. I'm just gonna use mine though. And then the two I recommend you guys turn on are Halation and Bloom. Now, as you guys can see here, if I turn on Bloom, it's gonna make the white areas glow like it would in an actual film camera. And then halation as well. Let's see if we can get some examples of it here. Halation is going to make the edges and corners peep with a little bit of red. You guys will see this in a lot of stuff shot on film. Uh, you can't really see it right now, but if you go ahead and turn up the amplification here, you guys can see it on her finger a little bit here. It's just not really showing off well. Actually, if you look at his do-rag right here, you could see it. If I go ahead and amplify that again, let's do like 70 or something. You can see it on his do-rag there, and that looks super clean let's go back into the color here and turn up the saturation and we have a super clean look just like that guys that's how you color to get the concrete boys look there's a bunch of different luts in that luck pack if you guys want to play around that we link below with the enhancer and my film looks as well if you guys want to get the style i highly recommend starting there you guys can also look around on the internet for other assets as well or you can just shoot on the film camera but that is super expensive all right, so now that we have color grading down, we're gonna move on to composition. Now, if we just skim through this music video here, you can see the shots are composed super, super well. And if you guys are wondering, how can I do this? How can I make my videos stand out? Now, a lot of these shots are just static shots on a tripod, like this one here. It really blends so well together with composition and wardrobe. I feel like that's what really drives their videos. This is just a static tripod shot. And this is a Dutch angle, which is on a tripod, but tilted. And then just having the one artist camo who's in the front wrapping with everybody chilling in the back. And this looks 10 times better because everybody is kind of wearing the exact same thing, like the red style with the vibrant colors matching in the background. The composition in this video really astounded me too. It was so good with the rotating aerial shots, just like so, rotating from above. And then I really love this scene as well here. You have the mechanic working on the car with the camo and then draft in the back. It's kind of like a leading lines. And this one here as well is super great as well. Now, if you guys are wondering, how can I find these shots? How can I figure out new compositions and stuff to mess around with? Well, I'm going to put you guys on right now. There's a couple websites. I'm going to first start off with iCandy right here. We go onto iCandy.com. You guys could see we have a bunch of different inspiration if you're wondering like wow like this effect is so cool what is it all you have to do is click on it and it will show you a bunch of other music videos that use this effect i highly recommend using this while making your treatments or before you go to a run and gun shoot just to get some style ideas for your videos you can find a lot of unique shots on here and then just watching some other music videos as well you can find some great stuff now if you pair a website like this to something like shot deck as well where it has static shots like this where you can click on one, go down and find a lot more stuff that's similar. Scroll through. Let's say we like this one. Same thing. Scroll down. This one's great. Oh, we have a bunch of other stuff that looks just like it. If you can pair this with eye candy and get a visual style of composition with like the movement from eye candy, it will be well off on your way to have your own unique style. And I feel like if you just take like five inspirations from here and kind of just lock in on tripod shots and nailing wardrobe as well, you will be set. Now, speaking of wardrobe, we're going to move on to that as well. Their wardrobe choices work so well together with the coloring of the video and the backgrounds and locations they use, especially this video right here where they're all wearing red mixed in with the blue. It works so well. You guys have no idea how much this actually helps in the video. Now, if you guys are looking for ways like how can I combine my wardrobe with my set, um, what they basically do is look for colors that stand out as statement pieces. So the all red kind of fits out and blows and, and goes out compared to everything else. Now, I'd recommend you and your artist go on Pinterest and just go through your artist's closet as well, but you can find a lot of stuff on Pinterest. You go ahead and just search standout outfits. And then just like before, like if you find something, click on it and they'll give you a lot more similar stuff and then just click on something else and then keep on going down. And then if you like what you see, you can just copy it paste it into a, uh, a Google slide or something and just kind of piece together a look slowly. It's my recommendation for that. 
And then moving on to our very last tip here, guys, we're going to be talking about lens choices when it comes to your camera. A lot of their shots are super wide. I highly recommend you guys have like a 28 to 70 lens, which is a must, and then have something like a 14 millimeter. This isn't shot on a wide lens, but it's shot very well and the composition is great. Whereas this shot right here is shot on a very wide lens on sticks and it lets you capture a lot more and kind of gets a really unique effect on the building compared if you shot on a tighter lens. Just having variety with your lenses is super important as a videographer. Going back and forth between the video and not shooting your entire video on one lens is super important as well. If you guys enjoyed this video and learned something, leave a like and subscribe as well. And all of my editing packs will be linked below. Go check out this video right here. It will help you on your editing journey. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.